Vince of Andy's on the Two Boys Coast in WA, you go to the Lobster Shack. Alright, well that didn't work. We're just going to have to drive it. We're not going straight down. Yep. You're Mom? freaking kidding me. I'll stay here. It's the iconic West Australian site of the Pinnacles. Hey, 2024, day one of our travels again. Happy New Year to everybody. Yes, Happy New Year, everybody. So, day one, on the road again, how are you feeling? Pretty good. We've just left Bonnie's, uh, which was Bonnie's Ski Park, Water Ski Park, and uh, we've been there for the last four weeks, catching up with family and spending Christmas, New Year with them. So, but time to hit the road. Looking forward to it. But where are we off to? Yeah, okay, so we're gonna do uh, a bit of a loop. Uh, we're heading north along the coast uh, from Perth and we're gonna go as far north as Carnarvon and then loop back. And we've got to be back here in Perth for uh, the 2nd of March when you girls are off to the Pink Concert at Optus Stadium. Mm, and that's <laughs> a lot of fun there. Uh, so that's... Uh, a need to be back here in um, on the 2nd of March before we then start heading east but um, for the moment we're going to head up the coast so um, our first stop will be in about uh, about 50 or 60 k's at Yanchip we'll uh, get out stretch the legs and have a look around uh, the boat harbour there and then um, go a little bit further north we're going to spend a few days mm. around Cervantes and Durian Bay uh, go after some some uh, lobsters and I do a bit of fishing and just uh, run the dogs along the beach and all that sort of stuff. So, uh, but we're going to do in between times. We're going to get up there. We're going to head up and do, you know, Calbarry and Shark Bay and all those iconic places. But um, we've got about what about seven weeks to do it in. Yeah. So nice and nice and chilled. But for the moment, so filling we're stuck in, in traffic. some. Yeah. <laughs> if we can get through this traffic, we will get to our first stop. Yeah, so filling in some gaps that we missed out from when we were in Carnegie. So, looking forward to it all. Yeah, so we, because um, we got as far as Exmouth and then um, then got the opportunity to go across to Carnegie. So we ducked across there and um, missed that gap between down the coast. We only got as far as Coral Bay. So, and then after Coral Bay, the next uh, real stop is uh, Carnarvon. So we're going to, yeah, we're going to fill that gap. <laughs> so, otherwise guys, Stay tuned, 2024, we've got lots more travels involved um, and lots, to, lots more to show you, stick with us. Originally a small crayfish settlement, Yanchip was developed by entrepreneur Alan Bond for the 1977 America's Cup. Bond bought 20,000 acres of land to develop a future city of over 200,000 residents. The first houses were built in 1972 with the marina coming in 1974, but then the project went bust. In recent years, the Smorgan family have reignited plans to develop Yanchip with medium density housing. Okay, here's one for the Brains Trust. What's the definition of camping versus resting? That sign behind me clearly says camping prohibited. We are at the Moore River rest area on the Indian Ocean Road, just south of Cervantes, north of Perth, a couple of hours. And quite clearly, you can't camp here, but we were told a couple of caravanners uh, had been driving all day had been here at the rest area for a couple of hours and got told by the rangers to move on. Mm, don't know that's my definition of rest. Uh, if you look around, the uh, facility is actually pretty good. There's uh, some drop toilets there. There's a couple of uh, picnic areas. It's also right in the corner there. You can see there's a uh, dump point, a couple of uh, brand new barbecues and things. So it's a pretty cool spot to rest. What's resting? I would think after a long day of driving, 24 hour stopover is probably resting, but that's not what the rangers think. What do you think?
Lancelot is a small fishing and tourist town with a permanent population of about 600, rising to 2,500 during peak holiday periods. The town offers something for keen windsurfers, anglers, snorkelers, divers and four-wheel drive enthusiasts. There are multiple beaches and reefs to challenge any angler. There is also a string of 14 shipwrecks along the coast that create one of the world's most renowned dive trails for experienced scuba divers. The waters are also a popular playground for abundance of marine life, with rare Australian sea lions and pods of dolphins regularly visiting the bay. Many of the surrounding islands are also significant bird sanctuaries. Just behind its pristine beaches lay the biggest sand dunes in Western Australia to challenge sand boarders, four-wheel drivers, bikers and dune buggy enthusiasts. doing? Uh, yeah, reducing the rubber. So we are at Lancelin Sand Dunes, the infamous sand dunes. As you can see it's a pretty open area, it's like a uh, ski field really, so I'm going to have to drop these tyres right down. I'm thinking something around 20 psi just to be on the safe side. So uh, that's what we're doing.
you think you're up to? I'm going down there. I've got this sack. I've got nothing else. This is going to end badly. <laughs> well, let's see how we go. Eh? Probably won't even go anywhere. Rusty, you stay here, darling. Rusty. Probably not even gonna, not even gonna work. Rusty, Axel. No, it's just not gonna work. No. Ah. I don't know what made you think it was. Well, I thought like a, like a sack. There we go. There we go. Rusty, Axel, stay. Axel. Work. We're just going to have to drive it. We're not going straight down. Yep. You're Mark? freaking kidding me. I'll stay here. <laughs> Oh, a ripping free camp we've uh, scored here. This is a spot called Drummond's Reserve. It's a 72 hour free camp just outside Cervantes. So we're booked into the RAC park in Cervantes. We've got a couple of days to kill before we actually get in there. Uh, so we've camped up here at this free camp and look, we just, we've got the whole place to ourselves and that beautiful bush views out there, it's just spectacular. So Drummond Reserve, Bibby Road, just outside of Andy's. Right, so we're going to put the uh, the kettle on. We had a good night's sleep last night. It was very quiet. The road's not far away. It's only like probably 100 metres away. But um, no traffic. It's a quiet road. So um, that's pretty cool. Let's give us a chance to catch up on a few things before we head into Savannah's and hit the white sand and the turquoise border. Well, go and make a cuppa. Talk to you later. Bye. On the move again, leaving this amazing So here's a bit of a tip. If you're free camping and there's lots of bush bees around, just put out a little bit of water. Put out a little bowl of water. That'll actually keep the, the bush bees away from your, the door of your caravan, your tent, camp area, and they'll actually love you for it.
day. Let me show you to its reserve. And just a reminder, please take all your rubbish with you because it's a fully self-contained. Prime example, just there, nobody's taking their rubbish with them. So I'll pick that up. But there is loads of space just on this tree, just here. Let me point it to you there. That tree on the other side of it has a beehive. So just be aware that there are bees in, bush bees in this area. See you later to its reserve. Off to Cervantes Caravan Park. We usually only highlight a caravan park if it is unique or exceptional. RAC Cervantes Holiday Park has undergone a major rebuild and offers a choice of accommodation options surrounding pristine facilities. You know what they say, when in Rome, you do as the Romans do, and when in Cervantes on the turquoise coast in WA, you go to the lobster shack. We're gonna show you around, and we're gonna have some more lobster. Huh. Okay, so 
today we're down at the Nambung National Park. It's about 15 k south of Savannies. And within the Nambung National Park is the iconic Western Australian site of the Pinnacles, which you can see in behind me. Uh, the Pinnacles are basically a, a limestone rocks and formations that uh, just prop up everywhere. And uh, you know, no one knows how they were actually formed, but they've been dated back to millennia, back to the beginning of time. Now you can actually walk around. There's a 1.2K wander around uh, marked trail, or you can drive around and the track is just wide enough you know, for boost, so it's, uh, it's a slow drive around, but it's four kilometers, and you can stop along the way and check out the different formations. So it's really well worth doing it that way as well. $17 to get in, day pass uh, for a car load, it's per car, or it's free if you've got a uh, National Parks Pass, which we do have, but I couldn't find it, so I had to pay the $17, but I'm okay with that, because it was actually, uh, it's, it's definitely worth a, a one around. But, uh, as you can see behind me, the, uh, the formations are quite spectacular. Nambung National Park, the Pinnacles, check it out.
stay curious, stay adventurous and keep on exploring. Thanks for watching.